<laughs> Tests have been available to be procured through the EU uh, Joint Procurement Agreement of last November. Since then, I've been calling for that to be availed of. Um, I've raised the issue several times with both um, um, uh, the Tánaiste, the yourself, the Minister for Health. Uh, there was a Professor Ferguson report at the end of March, beginning of April, recommending their use. You've paid lip service to it. Various members of your government pay lip service to antigen testing. Can you explain why there are one and a half million antigen tests in storage at the moment by the HSE, instead of being out there in the community being used to curtail transmission of COVID-19? So as you know, we've, exp we've expanded the use of antigen testing. Close contacts now are issued freely. So, so please, please, please yeah, they're issued antigen tests free. Okay, so there'll be another three or four hundred thousand, you know, potentially um, of the next while that will that will develop COVID, and there'll be a whole range of, of, of close contacts. We, so the, the issue is we've we've expanded it, its use in many different sectors, uh, and through the, 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 the close contacts as 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 advised by public health. I think you know well uh, that public health have had uh, over the time um, a very. I'm putting it. No, well, not well. From a, the medics, the medics are of a view. Uh, that, that antigen have, have you know have a role, a role, but not the silver bullet role that, right. that many would advocate. We're, we've made progress on this. Thank we need you. to make more.